Hi, my name is Kathleen Smith. I'm an associate faculty member at the Bowen Center for the Study of the Family in Washington, DC. And today I'm gonna to talk briefly with somebody who's participated in the postgraduate program at the Bowen Center. So hi, Jake. <laughs> hey, Kathleen, great to be here. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, uh, I live in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, right outside Knoxville, near where I grew up. And I've been a minister at the same place for 17 years. And uh, in the last six years, a, a therapist uh, with a specialty of working with uh, clergy and nonprofit uh, directors. Wonderful. So you have been in the postgraduate program for a while. How You finished this last year. How many years has it been? Yeah, this makes five years. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a slow learner, but I, I keep getting a lot from it. How did you end up finding it and learning about it? Yeah, so I um, had studied various uh, approaches to systems thinking for 12 years and thought I knew everything and that the uh, postgraduate program would just be the cherry on top. I got there uh, for the first year and every time I showed up, I had an upset stomach for the whole three days I was there. Uh, and I knew that uh, part of that was that I was um, coming back to really being a beginner, that for all of that time invested in, in other approaches, this was something new and different. This was something that was not challenging me only conceptually, but personally. Um, so uh, it, it really has um, been a challenge and I've seen the, the fruits of it to the extent that I've invested myself in the process. Yeah, how did, I mean, how did you make the decision to kind of invest the time and the money in doing it? Because I know it's not an easy thing for some folks. Yeah, I, you know, I kept, there were two things. I kept running into people who had given themselves to theory and really applied themselves to, to the study and practice of theory over time. And they kept impressing me with their thoughtfulness and maturity. And so I kept thinking, I want to be like that when I grow up, if I can grow myself up anymore. Uh, and I understand. Se <laughs> yeah. Secondly, I'd uh, gotten involved in neurofeedback and um, really was kept seeing those two in relationship to each other, neurofeedback and Bowen theory. So mm -hmm. I thought, well, this is a place where these things intersect. Yeah, can, uh, could you talk a little bit about uh, the difference between maybe doing some of this thinking and work solo and doing it at the Bowen Center or sort of in this, I don't want to say group setting, but, you know, with other people doing this thinking as well? For me, it's the difference between um, learning about swimming from a book and actually learning to swim. I uh, was pretty clear on some of the concepts I thought cognitively having to, or, or being challenged to apply them to my own life and my own thinking. Um, and, um, you know, coming away from the small group sessions and the lectures in, in Georgetown back home here in East Tennessee and trying, trying out some new moves with my family. Uh, or, or with the congregation, um, you know, just was, has, has been a, a really productive growth process. Okay. Did you have a, a piece of the, the training that was your particular favorite or that stands out to you over these, these five years? Because my background is in uh, liberal arts, the lectures that uh, are often linking research in the um, in natural systems, natural sciences um, to, um, you know, to clinical work or to family dynamics has been really helpful for me at, you know, sort of giving, uh, giving an anchor to, to some of these, some of these things. So yeah, uh, Dan Papero's lectures, I, you know, I'd stay all day. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jake. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Kathleen. Bye.